Welcome. In this video we're going to show you how to alter the look and feel of your Evolution web store using a new feature called the Template Manager. So if we look at the back end of the software first, um, under the menu option there's a new section in the menu called Template Manager so if you just go ahead and click on that and that's going to throw up how the site looks at the moment okay and then you have some options to change that look and feel so at the moment the site's in template 4 and the color celebration red so we're going to go ahead and change that and then I'm going to show you how that affects the front end so we're going to change from template 4 to template 3 and I click save and then we're going to change the color from celebration red to cobalt blue and then we're going to click save again and once we're happy that that's how we want the store to look we go ahead and we click apply template and if we flip to the front end of the store and refresh the page you can see that the entire look and feel of the site's changed that's how simple it is to alter the look and feel of the store now there are some variables within the template that you can alter so for example, if you don't have any special offers applied to your web store, then this section of the template here will be blank. So in order to populate that, you just need to go in to the admin screen, go to menu, sales and marketing manager, and then populate some special offers, and then add some top sellers, and what that will do is it will populate the central column of the template so that will give you this look and feel here where you have six special offers on the right hand side you've got our top sellers and again our top sellers is driven from the sales and marketing manager in the admin screen weekly top sellers are calculated automatically so this column here is calculated automatically based on sales history so it will pull through every week the top sellers from that week and that's how you populate the home page of the store now you have some additional options here we also have a banner management system and I'm going to show you how that works so if we go back to the admin screen and we click on menu and sales and marketing manager and then banner list so before we can create some banners we need to go ahead and add a promotion so we go add promotion and we'll call this just test promo and we click save and then it brings us up the different banners that we can apply to the store and the number of the banner position and then also dictates the maximum widths and heights that you need to save your banner images as now if we want to go ahead and put a banner at the top of the screen here above the special offers that would be banner position one Okay, let me just get rid of this message. So that would be banner position one. So we'll go ahead and update that banner position. So we go add a new banner and we'll call it test banner one. And we want to update banner position one, which is the top of the special offers. And we click save. I need to put a start and end date in for the banner campaign so let me just fill that information in and obviously after the expiry date that banner will disappear from the store at this point you can link that banner to a URL if you don't want to do that you've also got the option to create a page behind that banner so if we just leave that blank and hit save and then move to the next tab which is banner text so we can say this is a test banner page and we go ahead and click save and then we can add some products to that page as well so let's add a few items let's add some punch pockets so when the when you type the code it's going to bring up a drop down box you need to click inside that drop down box to select the product and then put in the promotional price so 199 click save and then just repeat the process to add more products when you've added the products the last thing that you have to do is click on the banner image and upload the banner itself now it's worth noting here that the system will only accept JPEGs at the moment so the image that you save your banner image has to be saved as a JPEG 
So we'll go ahead and we'll upload some banners um, that I've saved here. So let's pick that one from the desktop and click upload. Okay. And we can see that it's uploaded that banner image. Now if we go back to the home page of the store and click refresh, the banner's been updated. Okay, so that's how simple it is to get banners onto the stores. The first row of small banners appears underneath the special offers, between special offers and top sellers. The next row of banners appears between top sellers and the ink and toner set, so in this section here. And then the last big banner, the wide banner, appears underneath the ink and toner finder. So that's a quick run through on how to alter the look and feel of the store, apply banners, update special offers and top sellers to create that full template look and feel. Now the last thing I'm going to show you is this section here. So the text, the welcome text can be controlled within the admin screen as well. So if we go back to the admin screen and we click menu and then we go store settings. We then select the store content option from the list on the left hand side and then we're going to update the home page text okay so that's going to bring up a list of the current content all you have to do is edit that content so we'll change that to just this is a test message video demo and then we click save now that we've updated that content if you go back to the home page and click refresh that message has been updated so that's how you get the welcome message onto the home page of the store and again you're welcome to go in and update that and change all of these things as often as you like so I hope that makes that much clearer for you guys and um, we'll see you again on another video. Cheers!